welcome back everybody. This is EZ. Welcome back to the channel. Had two wars going on at the same time. Had Damage Inc's war going on, and I'm in the Pharaoh Phantom Clan with Too Easy on the doing the Too Easy Road Trip series, and uh, decided to do a recap from both clans. See, yeah, see who's putting out the best attacks. We're not going to put down either clan, of course, but we're going to see who's doing what and, and what's working, what's not. We're going to start off with the Pharaoh Phantom Clan. And we only have a couple of attacks from each clan, and it's still a long video, still 20 minutes, so sorry about the long video, everyone. Uh, <clears throat> try not to do that too often, but this one, this is a good video, though. You guys, you guys are going to like this. Uh, starting off with Keegs, I think that's how you say it. These guys in, in, in uh, Pharaoh, they do a great job of pulling out the clan castle troops, taking care of those initial objectives. So he, he comes in with this kill squad of golems, uh, Valkyries pushes into the base, pulls out the clan castle troops, uses the queen to take out the balloons, already on the air defenses. You can see that air, the infernal towers are burning down on the air defenses, but uh, burning down on the kill squad. Sorry guys, but uh, didn't matter. Queen still took out both air defenses. Now he puts in three lava hounds and a big spammy line uh, of balloons with the warden behind him and that's really important there's a big difference in this town hall 11 attack and the town hall 10 attack because of that grand warden so uh, not to downplay the attack at all but it's just a, there's just a big difference so now he uses those two rage spells right there on the core balloons are going absolutely crazy they're going every single direction still holding on to that warden's ability he was waiting for that warden's ability till the balloons got over to this corner over here with the with all these defenses has the arch tower the wizard tower all the air defenses are down, and uh, down goes another crazy looking Town Hall 10. This is actually a tough base right here. It's a number, their number two base. Keegs is our number three. Uh, just did a great job on this base. Didn't have a lot of stuff left over. Didn't have a lot of pups left over. We actually had the, oh, there it is right there. I was going to say, I knew that this thing popped. Uh, ha had the Lava Hounds live to the very end, and I think a little trap went off and got the, the Lava Hound to pop for him. So, that really saved the attack. I think that that if that lava hound doesn't pop, I don't know if he could, if he three stars. I don't know how much time he actually had. There was a lot going on at, at this point. <clears throat> so first attack from Pharaoh Phantom was Laloon. This is actually Gopa Laloon. I, I, I don't even sound right saying that. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't sound like coming off my tongue, but it's a great attack. It, it, it really is. You use the Golem, the Valkyrie, Wizards as a kill squad. They're, they're really effective getting into the base. The Golems give plenty of tank tankiness, if that's even a word, for the Valkyries. And the Wizards are, are blasting things over the walls. You bring the heroes in with them. And it, it really you can really take out quite a bit of the base with that particular kill squad now I, I know a lot of people love using bowlers in the, in the clan castle uh they're just not quite as as sturdy as those valkyries are so next attack red dragon emperor this is a fairly new town hall 9 attacking what looks to be a fairly new town hall 9 but those are almost all max defenses i think yeah i mean they're, they're almost all max defenses for town hall 9 i know the walls don't look like it but in these air attacks you know the walls don't matter so this is a uh, Laloon, you can use uh, Zap Quick to take out one of the air defenses. Pulls out the clan castle troops, gets them all the way out there in the corner to where the queen can come in and eventually take them out. Uses a surgical deployment on these balloons and it may look a little sloppy at first but th these are actually uh, four different groups of balloons going straight to all the air targeting defenses. Did a great job. Used those uh, two rage spells may have used them a little early but because he got such a good push off him it, it really helped the attack out it, it really did now there's only one air defense left still has a, a lava hound over it the balloons just take it out lava hound pops at the perfect time does have the archer queen down at down on that side of the base plucking out balloons out of the sky right now and you can see they're just dropping 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 and so right now at this point you're you know this could be a lot, a lot of trouble for the attacker you're really hoping that she attracts the attention of the of, of some pups but it really she's just taking out balloon after balloon after balloon 
Looks like her range finally got cut out. Now she's going to go pick up a couple pups. Meanwhile, these balloons have taken out all the defenses. They're going around the base right now to take out the trash buildings. There is, there still is a lava hound on the base. So at this point, you're kind of hoping that the queen locks on to the lava hound because then she'll be done for the rest of the attack uh, until it pops, and then the pups will take her out. So <clears throat> got a little good luck on that one. A great attack, but still a little fortune too because you know these the, the queen can completely wipe out all the balloons, and uh, they got lucky that the, that she didn't. If, the, if I was attacking, she would have literally taken every single balloon out in like six shots. Like, that's what she does to me. <laughs> and if it was my queen, she would have gone straight for the lava hound. And just pounded on the lava hound until she killed herself. Because that's what she does to me. <laughs> okay, last attack is actually too easy. I wanted to get too easy in there because I think that's the first time he's three-starred the whole time. I had some really simple bases that he blew, he as in me. Kind of, it's odd speaking in third person. Also doing an attack that personally I don't do that often. Uh, using the Gollum and Valkyrie wizard kill squad. So that's the Govala Loon. Uh, kind of as a model from this clan. So uh, sh showing off what I learned. Pulled out the clan castle troops with the Golems, with the Valkyries. Started taking out the clan castle troops with the heroes. Used the, uh, used the king's ability trying to get through that wall. Trying to get to that first air defense. I believe he takes out the first air defense. Queen is now kind of working her way around the outside of the base. The time started becoming a factor. So instead of waiting for the queen to take out that air defense. We started the air portion of the, ra of the raid. Uh, brought in uh, two, two lava hounds or one lava hound. For that first air defense, brings in, bring in another one for the second air defense, and freeze everybody. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here. So we will just take a few seconds to try to fix whatever this problem is, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back after a little cut, cutting and editing. I don't know what happened there, but it looks like... Uh, I don't know, press pause or something. And didn't realize it for a long time while I was recording. Because I do like 10 things at once. So, getting back into the attack. Starting to bring in the balloons. And kind of had the balloons lagging behind. And there was a big cluster of defenses all on one side. So, used a couple of haste spells to push those balloons over to the other side. Had Used that last haste spell. I mean, you can see, I think I brought 5 haste spells there. Five haste spells is just a lot of spells for for, for all these balloons. But you remember, balloons are, are pretty squishy, so you really want to push them around the base as fast as possible. And my, my goal is to try to disperse the balloons in a clockwise or counterclockwise fashion. That seems to be the most organized and most dependable way to go about doing it. And it usually just looks like a complete blitzkrieg mad mess when I do this. So... <laughs> been using this attack for a while and I still look like uh, my, you know it's my first day of walking but I managed a three star a lot with it I don't know how all right now I'm gonna do something I've never done before because I I, I play Royale with uh, with wild karma he was uh, he used to be in damage Inc one of one of damages long-term members and uh, so I'm in his clan in the, in the Royal Hill and they posted up something and I don't ever Push that royal into the into the clash thing, but I thought that this was kind of a funny thing to happen. And even if you don't play this game, you're gonna see something that I've never seen before. So I thought it would be kind of cool to take a little break, do something a little different. This game right here, I like I like watching the two games because kind of there's similarities between the two of them. You know, you use the troops kind of the same way. They they act the same way as they would in clash. You know, they you know the Val the Valkyries are spin attacking the the lava hound pops, you know all all that stuff's kind of the same. Uh, so these are two guys that are in the clan, and they're doing these friendly attacks back and forth. And this is a pretty competitive uh, pair of guys, and that you know they're having fun, but they're still competitive. And uh, and one of them he likes to use these barbarians, right? And as he's as he's adding the barbarians. 
he does this. He keeps on adding barbarians. He's on adding barbarians, and the guys that he, the guy he's attacking decides to defend himself by distracting the barbarians. And the way you do this in this particular game is you'll you'll put them you'll put other troops out in front of these towers, and instead of the troops running to the tower, they'll run off to the side of the troops that you're putting in. So as the as the barbarians are running in towards that that main tower, you'll see him. He'll put he just put the goblins in. Now he's got more barbarians getting ready to cross over the uh, cross over the bridge, and now he's gonna he's got a bunch more barbarians coming, and now he's gonna put in some goblins off to the left. Now he puts some uh, uh, whatever troop that thing is with a knife off there to, off to the right, and now the the barbarians are chopping away, and it's, it starts to build. Now he's got more barbarians coming in. He's putting in troops to the left and to the right. I think that's a cannon that he just put in there. So, but the, the numbers of barbarians are growing and growing and growing. He just drops more barbarians. He, he tries to defend it with a group of goblins and then uh, whatever that guy is with the knife. I don't know the names of all these things. So, now let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 barbarians, 11, 12, 13, 14 coming in. The reason why I'm counting is because this number is going to get unbelievably high. He just added another, uh, another uh, uh, hut, barbarian hut. Added some more barbarians. Now notice that the barbarians haven't made it to the to the, any of the castles. He just kind of he's got them dancing back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And now the number's got to be around 20. Here comes another four with some skeletons. He still hasn't made it to the to the tower. Yeah, back and forth again. Here comes four more, and look at this giant gang of barbarian. I've, I've never seen anything like this. That's why I wanted to record it. I don't know if they did this on purpose or what was really going on, but he's got four barbarian huts, and he's dropping barbarians. And now look at this. Uh, just had eight more, six, twelve more pop out, and <laughs> I don't know what to say at this point. When do you know that you're totally screwed? At this point right here, when you see uh, a small army of barbarians coming at you. But I would have loved to see one, uh, like, missile take them all out. That would have been what I would have loved to see. But no. I believe they counted 45. Yeah, 45. Wow. So that was our little break. That was our, our royal break. Not an official sponsor, so that's all you're gonna get today. Now, going over to the damage ink portion of the of the video. We're gonna start off with Root Dog. He's a Town Hall 11. He's attacking a Town Hall 11. So Town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 11. He's using the mass bowler strategy, which is all bowlers except for the six healers. He starts off with two groups of bowlers. He's gonna do two two bowler walks and then he'll put a big group of bowlers in the middle along with the clan castle troops which he likes to use those giants you know max giants are pretty stout i think they're better than max Go uh, golem so as they come into this into the core pops the warden's ability now at this point the eagle artillery's shells had no effect he uses the rage spell on the bowlers and just gets a giant push through the core of the base the clan castle troops come out in the back end and he, I believe he's got the Queen, which is up there with the Warden. So he has the Warden and the Queen together. That's deadly. And he's got all these bowlers, all these healers, and just nailed it. And this is a Town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 11. It is not easy to, to three-star Town Hall 11 with, with the Eagle Artillery. They don't have to be fully upgraded. They don't have to uh, be maxed out to be tough. And I know a lot of guys on YouTube, they only show these maxed out bases, but, you know, we show what we got. And this particular uh, guy here, uh, Run YGN Black, we, this clan was odd, just a, just a little side note. And it said, it said the Run YGN family, and we're, we, were de we were wondering if it was all one person, because they, all the names were so similar. And the way they attacked was was just they didn't attack at all until they attacked all at one time. So it was either the whole family sat down together at the dinner table and, and clash attacked, which is kind of awesome, or it was just one dude out there with like eleven accounts or more, yeah, just you know attacking like crazy. 
which is kind of sad. I don't know if that's awesome or not. So anyway, Roop Dog, Mass Bowler Attack. At the end of the attack, he's got he's got just the warden and the, the queen left with healers on him. You you know you're done when this when this happens. You know the queen she's gonna target everything. The warden's gonna be support. Uh, he's got he's got a little bit of healing action going on. No contest. Kind of a long attack, but it pulls it off. Great job. Okay, next attack is from Flex and. He's, uh, you know, it took me a while to, to figure out what the hell did it call this attack. But, came up with, uh, Gogi Vewi. So, I mean, I don't know what, what it, if that's right or not, but it sounds good. It Gogi Vewi. He was short, short hero. Short the king. So, he brings in a, a giant golem tanking unit to back, to, in, in that, in that, he's tanking that for the Valkyries and for the wizards. And, cuts into the center of the base. And brings in a bunch of wizards behind, and ba and basically what he's trying to do is he's trying to get into the core of the base with the, with the giants and with the golems and with the Valkyries. And as he's chopping away at the core, he's going around the outside with the, with the wizards, and did a real good job. This, you have to time this really well because if you don't time this right, then the defenses just turn and, and wipe out the wizards. You know, wizards are not very sturdy, and so if you don't have something in the middle that's attra attracting all of that attention then the wizards just get mowed down and he did a real good job of keeping all those defenses bi really busy with the giants and with the golem and, and uh, with the queen gets through the base really really relatively simply i mean it's got high level walls use two jump spells and you, you notice that those two jump spells you put them on these two different uh areas of the base that that all these conjoining walls m match up so let's see, that right there was one, two, three, four, five sections with one jump, and one, two, three, four, five sections on the other jump. So he, he combined ten different sections of this base with two jump spells. I mean, how strong is that? Good job, Flex. Okay, and this last attack right here, this is by Alm, one of the co-leaders in damage. He's using the Go Bajo. Which Govaho is bringing in golems first to tank for the wizards. The wizards gonna clean out all those trash buildings, bringing in a couple of wall breakers to crack open the wall. He gets the clan castle troops out on that, poisons the clan castle troops, brings in the wizards and the queen, and a rage spell to help take care of those bo the balloons and the dragon. They go down really quick. Brings in the Valkyries and a rage spell to try to chop out the middle of this base. And Valkyries are just notorious for leveling cores of bases. If you get that rage spell on them just right, they will take out the core of a base in about two seconds. And he comes in with the back end with with Hog Riders. Hog Riders no longer get that 1.5 damage, so they are great cleanup troops. Walls don't affect them. Really patient on the heal spell. He waits till they get down to this very last section. Uh, giant bomb just went off. Here comes the heal spell sooner, sooner or later. There, yeah, there it is. Heal spell comes down. Hog Riders are safe. Valkyries are still up. A queen is still up. He's got he saved a couple of wizards to make sure he gets those those corner builders huts. Remember, guys, if you ever if you're attacking a base and there are builders huts, before you attack, take one of those wizards out and bring in four archers. That that works well. Don't put him in first because then the clan castle troops might get attracted to them because they'll be the only thing on the board and the next thing you know you have, you know, your, your, the clan castle troops are going to the outskirts of the base and it'll take you a long time to kill them. I've made that mistake. We've all done that, made that mistake. So just make, account for those, those builder's huts because it sucks getting a 95 or 99% because of a builder's hut. That ruins an attack. So... Um, with a great great job here. A couple hogs. He's got a couple of everything left. He's got a little a little uh, smorgasbord of troops left. Strong base, stronger attack. I can't. I, you know, I wanted to pick a, the best attack. I don't. I can't pick the attack. <laughs> so damage versus Pharaoh. Why don't you guys leave me a comment in the comment section? What do you think the best attack was in the video? There was a bunch of good attacks. There was a lot of there was a lot of attacks in this video that weren't just just spam attacks where they just put everything in and hope for the best. There was a lot of good strategy, 
Uh, good job to both clans. Uh, both clans three star the entire clan except for one base and I believe Pharaoh got 95% on it and in damage they got like 90% so all but one star on both sides great war from both sides two big wins so hope you enjoyed the video for those of you who haven't subbed to the channel sub to the channel for me trying to build up our subs like every youtuber in the world that was kind of stupid easy <laughs> hope you enjoyed it I enjoyed it so until next time it's been easy take care everybody